day for sampling. It is a good day for sampling. It's early summer, and shrimp are the hot topic along the Texas coast. Biologists are worried about some nasty shrimp bugs, black gill disease. Black gill, it actually weakens them. And white spot virus, harmless to humans, but scary for shrimp. White spot is a very deadly disease. It can kill shrimp within 24 hours. Shrimp look good. If you had white spot, you know, if it was very prevalent, you'd see it right in here in the shell area. For those that rely on shrimp for their livelihood, a quarter shrimp, a virus that wipes out their bread and butter, that's a real concern. It's a domino effect. You know, our grocery stores, uh, the people that sell shrimp, the people that eat shrimp, you know, the people that catch shrimp. I really hope that doesn't infect our waters. Get her out there, you know, and it, it is scary. Shrimp are worth millions to the Texas economy. So protecting the resource and all who depend on it calls for some serious shrimp science. So I'm hoping for some slightly bigger ones. It's a lot easier to dissect a bigger shrimp than it is to dissect one that's this small. Jillian Swinford is checking bays up and down the Texas coast, taking samples. This big statewide survey that we're doing is very new to Texas, and this is the first time that uh, we've really been looking for black gill, and it's been a while since we've been looking at uh, white spot disease, so I think it's time to take another look. We'll run a little shallower water this time. Okay. White spot disease has been found in wild prawn stocks off Moreton Bay. It's another major blow to Queensland's $300 million seafood industry after the harmful virus devastated prawn farms in the southeast. White spot hit Australia in 2016. White spot is a disease that came from shrimp farms. You'll have 100% mortality. Let's go ahead and pull it in. Okay, we're worried about it getting into the ecosystem either through runoff from the farms or by using bait shrimp um, that's been imported. While well, white spot hasn't been detected in Texas yet. It's a much better trawl. Mm -hmm. Black gill is here. What we're looking for in these shrimp um, are clinical signs of disease. Um, they would have uh, darkened gills, but just because they don't have any discoloration doesn't mean that the disease isn't present in their system. Um, so that's why we got to take these guys back to the lab. Right now, I am removing the gill tissue. It just likes to stick. And with this gill tissue, we're going to extract DNA. And if the diseases that we're looking for are present, um, hopefully we can find them in the gill tissue. Ultimately, I mean, the work I'm doing is to try to help the populations we have and kind of monitor, you know, how much disease we're getting each year. Linked to changes in water temperature or salinity, black gill is a parasite that weakens the shrimp's immune system. So it is a concern because these shrimp are ultimately weaker. Um, and so they may be more susceptible to dying because they have this. While black gill has been here for a while, Right, see what we got here. The deadly white spot virus is a relatively new threat. Oh, looking real healthy, good. And we've never had this happen ever, you know, okay. um, in the Gulf Coast or Texas. The easiest way to keep white spot out of our bays? Hey, done. Yeah. Can I get uh, one pound of shrimp, please? If you need bait shrimp, shop local. The best thing for the anglers to do is just make sure they're using uh, Texas or Gulf of Mexico shrimp. Any of our native shrimp are great to be used, the browns, the pinks, the whites. Just want to make sure that you're not using any kind of foreign or imported shrimp whatsoever. Appreciate it. Thank you. Sure. Foreign farm-raised shrimp bought from the store are often not tested for white spot. In other countries, they are not regulated like we are here in the U.S. And when they get shipped into the U.S., very little get checked, you know, to see what's going on with them. So that foreign shrimp should be cooked, not put on a hook. It doesn't affect humans. We can eat it all day long, but somebody's going to use that shrimp for bait. Thank you, sir. And when they use that shrimp for bait, then it infects our waters. And so now we've got it. Pop it a couple times and let it sit. 
Sterling Branscombe has been a fishing guide for close to a decade. You make friends for life, you know, fishing with people. And I, I really enjoy it. Oh. He's got it. Got him. Fish on. For all that to go away over a virus that could be controlled, you know, Levi. If something like that did happen, it would just be terrible. Yes, has probably an 18, 19. Um, I, I would just like to see that not happen, you know. So that's why Jillian's out on the water. Yeah, we got plenty. Getting a baseline, working to protect a resource we all enjoy. The main takeaway is that this can have a very real environmental impact. The shrimp are important commercially, recreationally, um, but they're also important to the ecosystem as well. So we're trying to get ahead of this while we can. <laughs>